السلام عليكم My lecture today is about digital smile design I'm assistant prof Dr. Lenz Ali Shala Now what is the smile design? Smile design is the process of training your eye to spot details you can fix Types of smile design are measurement and calculations in addition to the digital design what are the advantages of a smile design? We have aesthetic diagnosis, communication with patient, feedback, patient management, in addition to education. Many factors affect on smile design. We have the harmony of the face, the lip contour and support, teeth and gingiva. Now, what I need to design my smile? I need for extra oral photograph. In the extra oral photograph, many of photographs in several positions I need. I need from the frontal view, at rest and at smiling, in addition to retracted. And, and I need from the profile view, at rest and at smiling, in addition to 12 o'clock, position. Each one of these photographs give us information about the face and the asymmetry of the face will affect on our smile design. From the profile view, I have very important line. It is called E-line or aesthetic line. This line is imaginary line. Connect the tip of the nose to the most prominent portion of the chin on the profile view. Ideally, the upper lip is 1 to 2 million behind the inline, and the lower lip 2 to 3 millimeter behind the inline. Any change in the position of the inline indicates the abnormality in the upper or lower lip position, and this will affect our smile design. From the 12 o'clock, it is very important to locate the relation of the incisor edge of anterior teeth with the lower lip. Also, I need for intraoral photograph from the frontal and profile view in addition to the occlusal photograph. Now, from the frontal view, I have many of the informations which affect uh, on our design. So, any discrepancy, any asymmetry on the face will affect our design. Now I have a three line, the interpapillary line. This line passes through the eyes of the patient in addition to the incisal plane and the midline. Facial midline is very important line in designing our smile. In addition, from the frontal view, I have other one, it is the dental midline. Dental midline in 70% of cases, it is correspond with the facial midline. And it is parallel to the facial midline. So, any shifting in the dental midline from the facial midline then should be affect our design. So, if the shift is less than 4 mm, we can uh, and correspond it as a uh, normal and we do uh, uh, our smile design on, uh, in according to the dental midline. Also, have another cases, it is called counting. Counting means that the dental midline is not parallel to the facial midline. But it is uh, in addition to the shifting, it is not parallel and uh, counting is not acceptable and need to be uh, treated before we design our smile. Also, one of the important uh, line we have a smile line. A smile line it represents the position of the incisal edge of anterior teeth, upper anterior teeth in relation to the lower lip. This is very important line in our design. 
In addition to that, it is take the shape of the lower lip. Therefore, the smile line should not be straight. It have the same curvature of the lower lip. In lip lines, we have three types of lip lines. I have high lip line, medium lip line, and low lip line. In addition to that, the incisal length of the anterior teeth should be detected at rest position or by making the patient say sound M. This is very important because this represents our smile design and effect on our smile design. And uh, this amount of the uh, incisor maxillary edge presence affect uh, according to the age and sex of the patient. Therefore, the old patient have about one to two millimeter from the, uh, their incisal edge presence at rest position. For the young patient, it is about three to four millimeter. Now I have buccal corridor, one of the uh, factors effect on the smile design. Buccal corridor, as present in the slide, it is a negative missing of the teeth. It is the black triangle at the corner of the mouth. And in some patients it's present and it gives indication that there is a missing of the teeth. In the presence of the buccal corridor, we may take in account that this corridor should be covered with our smile design as present in the picture. Now, from the uh, uh, frontal view also, I have the in addition to the interpapillary line and incisal uh, line, and the facial midline, I have two lines horizontally from the intercanthus of the eyes with the width of the nose to the canine. This line is very important because it gives us the intercanine distance. Now, what is the intercanine distance? Intercanine distance is the distance from the distal view of the canine from the frontal view to the distal visible part of the opposing canine. This area is very important. Why? Because in case of we have uh, spacing of the teeth, we need uh, to, uh, uh, to divide the uh, area to the central, lateral, and canine. Here I mean by the canine and just the visible part in the picture, not the distal part of the canine just the visible part of the canine to the visible part of the other canine. This distance is very important and the uh, space divided between the teeth is very important. I have what we called red proportion. It is a recurring aesthetic dental proportion. What's the meaning of the red proportion? The proportion is the proportion of the teeth to each other from the frontal view. From the frontal view. By this proportion, I mean that the width of my restoration for the central and lateral and canine should have a certain proportion to each other. Therefore, any spacing present in this area should be divided to the central, lateral, and can I? Now, ratio proportion means that the percent of the canine to the lateral should be equal to the proportion of the lateral to the central. And I have a standard proportion. It is 80%, 70%, and 62%. Depend on what? This proportion is depend on the natural tooth height, our natural teeth height of the patient. If the patient have short teeth, therefore we use 80% red proportion. And if the patient have a normal length of anterior teeth, 
Therefore, we can use 70% right proportion. And if the patient have tall teeth, therefore, we can use 62% proportion. This proportion gives us the width of our restoration. Now, I have the intercanine width and have red proportion. Now, how can I calculate the width of my restoration? It is calculated by simple equation, which is present here in the slide. For example, I take this example. If I have intercanine width of 37.2 millimeter, and I use red proportion of 70% according to the length of the natural teeth for the patient. Now, by use of the such equation, I can calculate the width of my restoration for the central, which is about 8.5 millimeter. Now, I have the width of my restoration in the central and have red proportion, I can calculate the width of the lateral restoration and width of the canine restoration. Okay, red proportion in the sheet of the uh, smile design, uh, digital smile design uh, uh, software, it presents uh, as lines with certain proportion according to the natural teeth of the uh, patient, we can choose a proportion, red proportion, and uh, this line will be the same of the proportion. Now, I have, I calculate the width of the anterior teeth. What about the height of my restoration? I have single tooth proportion which is the ratio of the height to the width is ideally 80% a range 75 to 85% and the limit 70 to 90%. So I have the proportion of this ratio. If I have eight, eight millimeter for the width, so I will have 10 millimeter the length of the central. This ratio, according to what I use it, this ratio, it is about the face of the patient. If the face of the patient is rectangular or oval shape, I can choose one of this uh, tooth proportion, but to be safe, it is about 75 to 85%. Now I will have the width of the, my restoration and the length in addition to my proportion. Now, after I calculate in the digital smile work field, I have this, this rectangular shape or this box. This box have the same single tooth proportion. I put here from the incisal or from the smile line start from the starting point with the with the dental midline and it will give me the new width and height of the restoration also in addition to the smile line i have another one is a gingival curve Gingival curve represent my uh, uh, my gingiva where to be located, and it is corresponding to the curvature of the upper lip. Okay. Now I have something called synth points. Synth points. It is the most apical points of the clinical crowns. It is located distal to the long axis of the teeth and it represents the highest uh, the uh, highest curvature of the gum for each tooth. Now, gingival levels 
for the central, the zenith points should be with the same level with the canine, while the lateral should be one millimeter shorter than the zenith of the central and canine. Now, the ideal is the zenith of the lateral should be one millimeter behind the zenith point of the uh, central and canine. The acceptable one to be with the same length with the central and canine. And the unacceptable one is to be taller than the canine and central incisor. Okay, now I determine my gingival curve which is corresponding, as I said, with the upper lip. And it is determined as if there is any gingivectomy to be due for the teeth. Any teeth under this line should be due gingivectomy. Also, I have third line, it is the papilla curve. Papilla curve show where the papilla of the teeth be and to contact of the teeth should be. Okay, here the contact point of our restoration will be determined by the papilla curve. And it is reflect if there is any deficiency in soft tissue and reflect to the laboratory where the contact point of the wax up should be. In addition that the papilla high should be 30 to 50% of the tooth height. It is the new height. From, not from the original height for the teeth. It is from the new height for the, our restoration, the papilla and the contact area should be 30 to 50 percent. Now this represent our inter papilla interdental contact area should be 50 percent for the central from the new height of the central and 40% from the new height of the central for, central for the lateral and 30% for the canine. Also, we have another term, it is the contacts and impressure area. This area between the restoration, it should be with the certain percent in order to give a natural look it is small at the anterior tip between incisors and it will become bigger as we are toward the posterior teeth. Also, I have the shape of teeth. It may be oval, triangular, rectangular, or square. This shape of teeth are present in the digital smile design and a program and we can and uh, uh, choose any one of them according to the shape of the patient face. This the workflow of the digital smile design. We have two lines which we will bring the pictures inside them. We will start from the frontal view and we will determine the lines I discussed later. Uh, so I discussed before and bring them to the workflow. We will determine the smile line for the patient and also we will determine several points, take them as guide during our treatment. And this box which is uh, used to calculate the new width and height for the, our restoration and give us information if the tooth need for lengthening incisally or need for gingivectomy according to the smile curve and the gingival curve. In addition to that, we can, uh, uh, we can paint the uh, shape and the width the length for the uh, uh, our restoration and we can uh, use of uh, such ruler 
which is present in the design and this give us the uh, we can uh, calculate from them the uh, width and height we calculated previously and we made them adjustable with the new length and width so give information for the laboratory about the length and width and for making wax up this ruler can we use it from the gingival view and also from the incisal give all the calculation we need for the laboratory In addition to that, the laboratory can, the lab can make us uh, uh, wax up. This wax up is very important to determine the final shape for the uh, our restoration for the patient. In addition to make uh, mock up, so uh, this digital smile will uh, simplify our work. Thank you very much.